in different koans. What is the meaning of Bodhidharma's coming from the West? And uh, so it's a it's a simple question, but it's very profound, and it's profound because really what it what it means. Um, I've been talking about koans, like about koans, you know, for I know at least the last week or two, and in general, uh, encouraging those of you who are not working on koans to start to understand koans and to to get what this language is talking about, because it's a it's a deepening of practice. It's a deepening of this process to start to really get what these uh, koans are talking about and to be able to talk about it. Um, you know, so so I, I don't want koans to be this esoteric, mysterious uh, practice that only those who do koan study have privy to and everyone else is in the dark and can't really talk about it. Uh, there's a, I don't, uh, I, I feel there's a separation there. And so I'm really encouraging those of you who aren't doing koan, formal koan study, to, to, to know that you can understand koans. You can understand what this, the, they talk about and you can figure these things out for yourself. You don't really have to rely on a teacher to explain this to you week after week or month after month. Um, <coughs> so in that you know, train of thought, I encourage you to see what this question is, really is. What is the meaning of Bodhidharma's coming from the West? What does that mean? You know? for you to answer that koan. What does that mean? Tell me what that means. <laughs> uh, and if, you, if you're sitting there and you're confused and you don't really know what it means, then pay attention to this process of, uh, of you understanding what it means. So that the next time you're asked to, to explain what a koan means, that you have a, some reference point. You've, you've seen yourself come to understand what it means over and over enough time so that you can start to answer these questions spontaneously. And that's, that's really what koan practice encourages. It's, it's for you to be able to express and manifest your own enlightenment spontaneously. You know? And, uh, and to do that in this tradition means learning this language. I mean, you can all express your enlightenment spontaneously in a million ways, which you do every day, whether you are aware of that or not. Uh, but to express your enlightenment spontaneously in this tradition, this lineage, means understanding this terminology and being able to express it using this uh, vocabulary. So one basic, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a hint, maybe uh, a technique, a way of, of looking at things when, when you're looking at a koan is to, is to apply it to your own life. To see Oh, he's asking this question, but the question isn't about this. It's about me. How is this question about my life? How can I uh, translate this question to be about me? You know, I, I love it when people talk about their animals, but it's clear they're really talking about themselves. <laughs> you know, we, we do this naturally. It's a natural... Uh, way of sharing and expressing our world is in metaphor. You know, we are talking about this or that, but it's really about us. You know, you might say, oh, the dog, he's afraid. You 
you know, or look how happy he is or she is. You know, but that's a, if you can look a little deeper, you can see, oh, that's really a reflection of me and my state of, of being. That's probably not the best example of this kind of uh, pro projection or reflection. Uh, but it, I hope it helps kind of point the way toward this. So, so, okay, you know, with that in mind, you know, the question, why did Bodhidharma travel to China? Well, literally, he came to, to, uh, to practice the Dharma. He came to share, uh, to manifest enlightenment. So, here it is. To translate this into your life, what this is really saying is, why am I here? That's, that's for you to say. What this koan is, is it's about me asking, why am I here? Why did I travel all the way across Chula Vista to, the, to National City? You know, why did I travel to National City today? It's the same question as why did Bodhidharma travel from uh, India to China? Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> you know, see this process happen in your own mind, in your own heart. See how this koan is about you. See how this literal question about the history of Zen translates into a very simple practical question about your own life today. So why did you come here? Why are you all here? Why can peace? 